Hello everyone, I want to talk about indentations and outlines here today. Uh, there's some important information for you to keep in mind, so I want to look at an example I have in Google Docs. Main purpose of indentation with outlines is to show relationship between ideas. If you remember, we'll have our topic sentences, major details, and minor details. And the indentation just allows us to move these to the right uh, in order to quickly show which ideas are kind of of equal value or equal weight. So here in this example outline that I'm using, I have all my information and it's not formatted at all. It all starts at the left margin. So I want to show you how you can go in there and indent different parts of it. So again, our introduction and our thesis, we're going to leave those at the left margin. So those are going to be left justified. Same with our topic sentences, so the Roman numerals 1, 2, and 3. It's with our first major detail under each of these that we want to indent. Nice thing about Google Docs or Microsoft Word or any other word processors, there's some automatic tools they have that allow us to quickly format that to get the correct indentation. In Google Docs, it's kind of in the top middle of the toolbar. There's a decrease and increase indentation. We just need to click the increase indent one time to move a half an inch to the right. That's for the major de details. The minor details will move over an inch, so we just need to click that twice. If you notice, it automatically wraps lines, so if they go on to additional lines, if you have a long sentence, it will automatically be formatted correctly for you. So simply just Click on these tools and move your uh, major minor details to the right. And this is a quick way to get it formatted. One nice thing about this is if you ever start an outline, say Microsoft Word, and it formats it for you, but you go back, move things around, rearrange things, that formatting can get messed up. So you want to know how to go in there and actually get it fixed. Uh, one of my rules of thumbs when I'm composing is I try to get all my information on the page then I'll do the actual formatting after the fact. If you ever have any questions about any of this formatting stuff, uh, make sure you let me know. I'll try to answer them. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. It's just a matter of finding the tools, finding where they're at, and kind of realizing how they work for you. So thank you for your time.